This hearing is expected to last much longer than a typical case, potentially up to a few weeks. This morning we captured this video of Susan Flores, Paul's mother, and Reuben arriving at the courthouse in San Luis Obispo. Susan was included in a civil lawsuit filed in May by the attorney representing Kristen Smart's family. The lawsuit alleges intentional infliction of emotional distress. Shortly after Susan and Reuben arrived, members of the Smart family arrived at the county courthouse. Both Reuben and Paul have pleaded not guilty following their arrests in April. At the hearing began this morning, the prosecution began calling witnesses. KSBY reporter Megan Healy has a recap of what has happened so far. Day one of the preliminary hearing started off about 1030 Monday morning, wrapping up about 430. And it started off with the prosecution calling its first witness, Kristen's mother, Denise Smart. We also heard from Kristen's father, Stan, as well as two party goers from the night that Kristen went missing. Now the prosecution trying to prove that Kristen had a strong and close relationship with her family and wouldn't try running away despite being unhappy at Cal Poly. The defense now bringing up points that Kristen wanted to travel to Thailand and apply to modeling jobs. It was emotional and at times tense during the first day of court. Prosecutor Chris Prevell showed Denise Smart three evidence photos, one of the whole Smart family in Hawaii of 1995, a high school graduation photo of Kristen with blonde hair, and another photo with her hair dyed brown in spring of 96. Denise teared up, describing her eldest daughter as a gift and the best hugger in the family. The prosecution asked Stan and Denise about Kristen's demeanor at school, both testifying Kristen didn't feel like Cal Poly was the right fit, but wanted her to finish out the year. Spring break of 96 was the last time Stan and Denise saw Kristen. Denise says Kristen was in a better place at the time. But she says Kristen was concerned about getting an incomplete in one of her classes. The Friday of Memorial Day weekend, Kristen left her mom a voicemail saying she would call Sunday with good news. But Denise never got that phone call. Worried about his daughter, Stan spent two and a half months searching for Kristen. He says the Cal Poly police were ill-equipped to handle a missing persons or homicide case. That summer, he says he learned Paul Flores was the last to see her.